Hey everybody and welcome. Today I've got something pretty exciting for you. It is the uh, new chassis by Krom USA for Ruger's PC Carbine Rifle. Um, so here in front of me we've got the uh, chassis itself. Uh, Krom USA's Zukrom version of the Magpul uh, Zukov handguard. And also um, this really awesome Hogue Overmold stock um, that uh, Krom Cerakoted to match uh, the rest of the parts I got from them for me. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in and take a quick look at uh, what what we have. So opening up the box to the chassis. Okay, we've got some instructions here for a uh, a, a pin that looks like Crom has decided to beef up. We'll take a look at those when we get to it. Some foam. We have the extended mag releases, as well as the, that other roll pin. And we have the chassis itself. Um, this one's obviously in a nice flat, uh, flat dark earth, but I, I know it also comes in some other colors and you can just even get the standard black. It's got their logo and uh, a Mandalorian-esque uh, logo down there around the magwell. And one of the main features of this is this rear stock attachment area. Um, the Krom chassis takes any um, Mossberg 500 pattern stock. So, I mean, Krom usually shows it off uh, with the Magpul SGA. And um, while that's a great stock, it doesn't quite work for me personally. But on my own Mossberg 500s, I love these uh, uh, Hogue overmolds. And so this will fit right there together. Um, so I will be putting that on when I uh, assemble this uh, in totality. One thing I've seen some people wonder about is, well, how much extra weight or less weight do these chassis uh, add or subtract over the base configuration? So I've got my handy little scale here. Let's take the stock, um, stock, and I guess chassis, and see how much that is. So I've got one pound and six ounces. Now let's go ahead and we'll take the Krom chassis, its associated parts, and my new stock to see how much that is going to be. And I've got one pound, 12 ounces, so uh, six ounces more. And of course, this will vary based upon the stock of your choice. If you're wondering just how much the chassis alone and its parts weigh, it's 12.3 ounces. So to start, I'm going to have to tear apart my uh, PC carbine. Um, and to do that, start just by taking the bolt back and locking it, making sure, you know, nothing in the chamber, there's no magazine, then I can go ahead and push the pin forward and rotate it to take the barrel assembly apart from the receiver and stock assembly. Um, next, we will have to take the receiver out from the stock. And to do that, we will take a 530 seconds Allen wrench or a hex key and we will undo these two screws at the bottom. Once these screws are out, then we should be able to pop the receiver out of the uh, out of the stock. And then we'll also want to remove our mag block. So we'll go ahead and press our uh, mag release and then push the block up and take it out. Next we're going to want to remove the original mag release assembly from the uh, OE stock. And to do that we will need a 5 64ths hex key to unscrew the screw on the button so that we can take out the catch, the button, and the spring. So the first thing we'll install on the Krom chassis are the mag catch and mag release parts. And um, we'll grab the metal lever, uh, which will go on the right side of the chassis. Um, and then on the left side, we will take the uh, plastic lever or block. Uh, the plastic one's not supposed to articulate after it's installed. So to install these, uh, you'll grab the roll pin, uh, put the lever in there, and then uh, hammer in or press in the roll pin from the top until it secures the lever. You'll want an eighth inch roll pin starter punch to get it uh, in there initially, and then you can transition to a regular eighth inch uh, roll pin punch uh, to fully seat it. So one thing I noticed when trying to insert this uh magazine adapter block into the Chrome chassis is that um, I actually need to file things down a little bit. So at the rear here, these two corners 
Um, it looks like I'm going to have to need to take them in just a little bit so that they fit the curvature uh, of the chrome chassis. This, the chassis over here has a larger radius um, than these guys, so I need to recess the uh, outer edges just a little bit in order to get the slide in there. Okay, so I've uh, ground this down with my Dremel just ever so slightly, and I don't know if you can see it that great, but it really was just an incredibly little amount. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pop in this block into the uh, chassis. You can see that slides in all the way there. And then uh, now we can go ahead and insert the mag catch. So now we'll go ahead and we'll put the uh, mag catch into the chassis. And uh, looking at this uh, piece right here, you see how there's these cutouts on either side. Um, these two prongs right here are supposed to slot into that. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take this and pull this side out basically as far as it can go. So you can see how much it's protruding out right there. And then we can go ahead and drop this piece in, align the slots, and then lower both of them into the chassis together. And make it go all the way through to the other side. So just like that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll move to the other side. And we'll take our spring, place it there, along with the button. And we will carefully compress those until it hits the stop. And then we can take our screw, try and get it in there, and hold those together. Take our 5 64ths Allen, or hex wrench, and screw those together. Now that that's together, we can go ahead and take a magazine, see if it works. Yep, that stays, doesn't come out. I can press this, the magazine falls out. So now we're ready to drop our receiver into the Chrome chassis. But before we do, um, this is when we're going to go ahead and read these uh, extra instructions that Chrome provided us. And what this is basically telling us is this uh, pin right here, right over here on the receiver, um, is pretty loose and it's really just held by tension from the um, bolt lock back, which was right here. So what we need to do, oh, and you can see, haha, <laughs> Mine just lost tension right there and that pin fell right out. And that is exactly what a uh, Chrome is trying to prevent. So in order to uh, remedy this, they have provided you with this uh, larger stainless uh, pin. And to, in to install it, we will just depress this uh, button here and get this pin into place. Um, I'll probably need to get a little hammer and just tap it in there. Um, but once it's there, then that should stay a lot more secure than uh, this o stock one did. Now that the mag well adapter and the uh, mag release is all assembled, we can finally go ahead and drop our receiver into the Chrome chassis. So this is just no different than putting in your Ruger stock. Just put the two halves together, hold them together, and we'll take our two bottom chassis screws and Use our five 30 seconds hex to secure them. Once our screws are threaded in all the way, we'll go ahead and grab our torque driver or torque wrench and torque them to 65 inch pounds. Now I'm ready to put the stock on, and so I will take my Hogue over mold. And uh, for this particular stock, um, there's little slits in the rubber at the top and bottom. Uh, that you and you will need a Phillips screwdriver to uh, take the butt pad off. Uh, and just to make that a little bit easier, I'm going to put a little bit of lubricant on the head of the screwdriver uh, so it can slide in here and turn a little bit e more easily. So I'll go ahead and do that. So now that I've got the butt pad off of the stock, I can go ahead and make the stock up with the chassis. And uh, since this is a Mossberg pattern, um, I'm going to need a 5 16 by 5 and a half inch long bolt, and that uses a half inch socket on the head. So first I will put the bolt and washer into the stock and articulate that until I can get the thread showing. Then I will take my half inch socket 
and then get these guys mated together and threaded up. And then I'm going to finish by torquing this down to 10 inch or 10 foot pounds. Now I can go ahead and take the butt pad and put it back on, making sure both of the washers are there. If the chassis is all you've purchased at this point, you can go ahead and lock the bolt back, take your stock forearm and uh, barrel assembly and lock the two together and you are done. And in case you're wondering, the total weight of the firearm in this configuration with just the chassis is 6 pounds, 15.8 ounces. So basically seven pounds.